So, you Tations, you beautiful robot gamers, and welcome back to the Crooked Man. We're picking up where we left off, which was searching for the passcode for the food closet. Which, rereading uh, the whole uh, spiel with the owner's thing, feels like we are going to be finding the passcode here. Pokemon on string case for that. Eh, garbage. Phone. Shells are empty. Nothing left in there, I hope. Okay, guess we're not going back in the basement. Okay, I guess that was a dead end. Okay. Hold on, there's a slight. There's the flammable liquid, right? Let's try a lighter on that, actually. I know it's a stupid thing of just like, oh, could catch fire. Yeah. So let's try the lighter. Nope. Nope, not that. Uh Why aren't with this yet? Mounted deer. I didn't believe there's anything here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Right in here. Okay, nothing there. Okay, I'm rather lost, so give me a second. <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna be wandering. Just gonna be wandering around forever. Do 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 Okay. So I guess I wasn't paying attention, so from what I can read I need to go back into the owner's room because there is something on the bulletin board that I need to take note of. Book of the Month a strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. High T. Okay. So, going off the first letter, T, so we're going to go to the section of the T's. <coughs> mm. <laughs> so, yep, here we go. The blackboard known as room said, the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on this shelf, right? Ah, here we go. Chapter 1, story, to, eh, story of the door. Mr. Utterson, the lawyer, was a man of a rugged countenance that was never lighted by a smile. Cold, scanty, and embarrassed in discourse. Backward and sentimentally long, dusty, dreary, and yet somehow lovable. At friendly meetings, and when the wine was to his taste, something eminently human beaconed from his eye. Something indeed which never found its way into his talk, but which he spoke not only in these silent symbols of a, the after-dinner face, but more often and loudly in the acts of his life. He was a steer with himself, drank gin, with, and he was alone to mortify a taste for vintage, and 
though he enjoyed the theater, had not crossed the doors of one for twenty years, but he had an approved tolerance for others, sometimes wondering almost thing with envy at the high pressure of spirits involved in their misdeeds and in any extremely inclined to help rather than to reprove. Okay. Uh -huh. In the year 18. That was the only number I could gather from that. <laughs> oh, oh. Um. Uh oh. Uh. Hi! Um. Uh, no way! That monster did it really! It's coming this way! Crap, I gotta escape! Maybe if I drop a him down here. Oh, I was gonna jump down there myself. <laughs> okay. What is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was. I think that thing actually exists. But still, there's no way it's come back from that fall. And the room under here is locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would be dangerous for her. Yep, gotta warn Sissy. Gotta, gotta warn Sissy. Gotta warn Sissy. Let's start from the right again. Let's start from the right again. No, not in there. Let's start from the right again. Let's start from the right... Okay, no. Never mind. Never mind, I got shut down. I got shut down. Let's save. Sissy, you in here? Sissy. Sissy is not in here. Let's see, is Sissy back trying to touch the piano? Sissy is not back trying to touch the piano. Is Sissy attempting to get drunk? Sissy is not attempting to get drunk. Is Sissy outside? No, Sissy is not outside. Is Sissy in here? No. Is Sissy in here? How about in here? Nope. Nope, Sissy is not in here. Sissy is not in here. It's definitely is locked with a password. 18? Hmm. Not 18. Hold on, I need to go look at the, uh, that book again, because I feel like I missed something. Okay. It skipped three. It skipped six and seven. It skipped nine. Okay, let's put those in in order. Wonder if that's the code. God, I didn't see anything when I was skimming through it the first couple of times that denoted any numbers outside of 18. Ah, there we go. Oops. Alright. Ooh, what's this? See something that's out of reach. Okay, so let's put it in reach. Got the key to 209. 209 is in the top right, right? <coughs> 209. 
Two nuns over here, right? Yeah, two nuns over here. All the way at the far end. Unlock the door. Why is there broken glass? Unless it's something badly burnt. Okay. Well, this a photo? There's something under the pieces. Found a scrap from a notebook. I don't need her memory anymore. Because I know she won't come back. I have to erase everything. Good and bad. And all the memories inside of me. Too. Ugh. My head. Hurts. Ugh. <laughs> Season up. Sheesh, I'm exhausted because I haven't slept much. So I burnt this photo to mend his broken heart, huh? No, I couldn't do that. I'll never forget, never. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. This person was a pansy. Sissy! This man was a pansy! Oh, hey, you are, David. Did you find a box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms that I can't get into, so it might be in one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing. But, Sissy, you really, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either, but it's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, alright? Okay. Uh, sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but... A monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. Alright, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Do 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 that was a very wet sloshing sound. What if I just ignore that? Bye! 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 Okay. Guess I gotta explore. Nothing measure, nothing gain! Huzzah! Why is there writing in blood here? Red writing, was this here before? No, it wasn't. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me, I'm waiting for you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? Okay. The thing's coming in here. So let's think. Most of these are broken bottles, so they're not gonna work. The bottle on my left, however, is still got alcohol flammable alcohol in it. I could hit him with that and then light him on fire. Alright, bring it, you monster! Why? I dropped you down a pit! Crap, I gotta do something. Damn it, this monster doesn't get it. Up. Oh, how about some of this? <laughs> Huzzah! Ugh, I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Oh yeah, now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be pretty flammable. Burn! Burn, monster! Burn! <laughs> Huzzah! Victorious! He ran away! Whew. What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Was there one of those around? I'm gonna guess possibly in the food closet. Might be where a knife is. That's just me though. <laughs> yep. A fruit knife. Maybe I should take just for self-defense. Now David, remember, you have knife now. Don't go swinging it wildly. Don't stab sissy with it. Why is there blood out here? Blood? This wasn't here earlier. Did, did something happen to Sissy? Do 
Do do do do do do do do do do do doors unlocked. Sissy! You're getting blood everywhere. What are you doing here? Whoa, your arm is bleeding, so it was your blood. Were you hurt? That's a lot of blood. My arm caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. That was a lot of blood. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you get anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I sh can at least try to wrap it up. Guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt. It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? No, I'm a silly sissy. It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly, but it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Yep. I figured you're the girl, ex-girlfriend, ex of the uh, tenant, previous tenant I'm looking for. Huh? He left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. This was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked at the courage to look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had, and he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a little longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and here. I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Found a key to somewhere. A key to somewhere. Wow. Thanks. Don't spare yourself, okay? Well... I'm going. Ta ta! Oh, the last it was for there. Poopy! Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man. Just go with the flow. Do you even have a personality? I didn't mean to. I mean, I tried to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Oh, is this RX? You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please just listen. I'm only thinking of you. If I'm a pain, just, I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Then, then what should I do? You just don't trust me. Is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we both be worse off staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait! We can talk this out, surely! And she tried getting back together with you, or trying to contact you again. Yeah, just ignore her, dude. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I were the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was something... Anything but we're... Poopy! <laughs> I'm trying to save, and I end up skipping dialogue. Key to somewhere. Does the key go to here? Yes. Something in the founding. Oh, hey, it's box. Hey, this is where I mean, Sissy was looking for. Box. Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. Must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. Okay. Something s tells me Sissy got up and left. Huh? Did Sissy leave already? But she's wounded. <whistles> Sissy! Here. Nope. How about? I don't know. I don't think uh, they're in any of these. How about in here? Oh, in here. Sissy! Uh, huh? No, no! Stay away! Stop right here! Back off, monster! 
Target criminal scum! You violated the law! Who now must answer for your crimes? David! Damn it! Sissy! Get out of the hotel! Yeah, David, what are you? I said, run away! I'll take care of this! Hey, monster! I don't know what the hell you are, but don't you lay a finger on Sissy! Okay! Well, I'm gonna end this episode here, and for the next one, I guess we're gonna throw down with the Crooked Man. So, if you like this type of video and would like to see more, why not consider hitting that like button and uh, subscribing, and you know, hitting that bell and notification bell so you are notified when the next video comes out. But, until then, I'll catch you all next time. Until then.